Okay, I forget what I was doing here. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. <laughs> I need more clues. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Again. Kind of figured that would work. Nothing to see here. Naturally, David would buy a. I can even see the combination that might be a useful password. Nothing in it. There's no way Chloe could put that gun back now. This ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. <laughs> you totally froze the laptop. Stop freezing the damn laptop already. Jesus. Nope. No way, Max. You totally Quit froze the laptop. Quit freezing the damn laptop. Woman. Gotta figure this shit out. Like, what did I not use? Did I use the army? I don't even remember if I used that. Probably have. I wasn't even paying Such attention. wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Okay. Shit, mother fudge sticks. Why? I gotta use it. Oh, shit balls. Okay, well, none no of that's way, working. Max. You totally froze the laptop. Okay, all right.
David has been dragging his head around since 2001? Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here. Man, I gotta remember what I picked and what I didn't pick. There's so many different passwords. Okay. Score. Oh, I did it! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Frank? I better tell Chloe about this now. Ugh. Let's browse this bad boy and get some answers. With Frank. But why does David care? Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. Must be nice to be suspended and have some free time off Blackwell. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Oh shit, I wasn't listening. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. 
I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. Oh, I shit. do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. <laughs> you can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Damn, I shouldn't have said that. I don't right. want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Damn, I'm always hurting motherfuckers. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. <laughs> better not rewind this one. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Oh boy, I have a feeling some crazy decisions going to be Let's made. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. This is so creepy. Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses. 
Now dying animals? Holy shit. What is going on here? I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Locked. Locked. More nasty shit. Mm. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. I could chug this beer or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so... Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. You're leaving? I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <clears throat> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. Hi. 
How you doing, Maxine? I'm just... Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal... I'm glad you're representing... I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Max? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. What can I do for you, Max? Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. Awful. What the fuck now? Mm. Thank you. 